Hi friends, it's Dr. Sherry. So we're learning about molas and molas are a fabric artwork from the San Blas Islands in Central America and Panama and Colombia. And it's where multiple pieces of fabric are sewn together to create this reverse applique technique. It's really beautiful, bright and colorful. Um, <clears throat> and we don't have fabric and needle and thread to do it, but we're going to mimic or copy that technique by using crayons and markers. So uh, I have a mola. It is not an authentic mola, but it's a copy of one that you can see. It has a central figure and it is, see these two birds down here? And it is surrounded by geometric shapes to create a really nice pattern. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a design like that, but we're going to use our hands as the central figure. So here you have my finished copy and it is a hand. And how do you think we made that hand? We traced our own hand. So what we're going to do today is we're going to trace our hand as the central character for our mola. So the first thing I need you to do is to get out your notebook or a piece of paper and a pencil. I'm going to use a marker so that you could see it a bit better. And we're going to trace our hand. Can you do that? All right. So get your supply set ready and you're going to trace your hand. Put your hand on the paper flat and with a marker, you're going to carefully go around each finger. Try not to move them. And you're going to trace your hand. You ready? Can you see? You're going to trace your fingers. Did you do it? Okay. So after you have your fingers traced, the next thing we need to do is we're going to create the pattern so it looks like there are multiple layers of fabric. And the way we're going to do that is we're just going to draw a line. Let me move this. We're going to draw a line around it again. See that? So once you have that one, we're going to do it again. So now we have one, two, three handprints. So let's do it one more time. So now we have four. Now remember the molas have lots of geometric patterns all around them. So in a geometric shape includes circles and squares and triangles. So let us use squares. So let's draw some squares around our hand. And because molas were multiple layers of fabric. Let's put squares around our squares. I'm filling all of our spaces with these beautiful patterns. Got it? Great. Now it's time to add color. Lots of bright colors. The molas were bright and colorful. Are you ready? Let's add color. You can use crayons or markers, whatever you have available. Okay, can't wait to see the finished product.